Okay, it's my final day in the Maldives, so good morning to you all. We're uh, actually going to go to Villangili today for my last snorkel. Um, we're also going to just have a look around, check out the cool places around that area before I head off back to Australia. Um, but I've just gotten everything packed, uh, as you can see here. Everything is all packed and ready. Um, I just need to get everything else done. Supper's in. Is that up? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. I don't need my dive bag. Alright. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time for Facts with Zach. It's actually the final segment of Facts with Zach for the Maldives trip. Um, so I hope you enjoyed everything that happened and what went on and what I saw over there because I know I had an awesome time. But why don't we carry on with Facts with Zach? Let's go. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to talk about is in fact the sea cucumber. So this guy that we saw now was long. It was kind of thick. Video doesn't do it any justice, but it's kind of thick, kind of thick, really elongated. Um, but these guys are known as echinoderms, meaning that they possess bilateral symmetry. Uh, so it means they're just pretty much symmetrical, straight down, uh, kind of like starfish and sea urchins. So they love to dwell at the ocean's floor, as you can see in the video. Uh, which allows them to recycle detritus, meaning that they are extremely important for the environment because the detritus they recycle then gets consumed by other bacteria. So even though they kind of look like a finger, they're very important. Uh, but sea cucumbers can in fact grow to 10 to 30 centimeters and with a maximum length of 3 meters that has been recorded, uh, this guy was long. The, as I said, the video does not do it justice, or it does, I'm not too sure, uh, but when we saw this, it was a long boy. This thing was massive. I'm just going to fire these facts out to you, because it's going to be quick. Time to listen. Let's go. Fact number one. Uh, these sea cucumbers have no brain. Uh, they're still able to function quite well, which is more than I can say for a lot of uh, people out there. Uh, anyway, they do possess an endoskeleton, like us, inside, skeleton inside the body. Um, so it's an internal skeleton. Knowing someone that's got bad breath, we'll try and trump these guys because sea cucumbers breathe out their anus. Yep. Specifically in the cloaca. I'll put the name up here, Cloaca, which is just inside the anus. Uh, one of the coolest things about these guys, though, is their defensive mechanism. Now, when they get attacked, they will excrete um, the cuvarian tubelets, which is kind of like an extension of the 
respiratory tree and sometimes these can be toxic uh, and cause a lot of fish to get sick or even die but the main reason is they're sticky and it'll just stick to them let's move on to the next one okay species number two these guys are also a kind of worms and they're called sea urchins now the video that i got was kind of crappy but you're gonna have to deal with it because it's all i've got but they're kind of pricks and i mean that in a literal sense they got spines all over their body. Sea urchins have no visible eyes, legs, or any means of propulsion, but they do have tubules right in between each spine. So say there's two spines, you've got tubules right here that will allow them to move and walk. So if you see one moving, look for the tubules, because it's kind of cool how they move. Um, from looking at these creatures, you'll kind of wonder how do they function well. Sea urchins have a mouth made up of five calcium carbonates. You can't see it in here because it's kind of like below. Say that's at like the top of the sea urchin, it's below in here somewhere. Um, but they're made up of five calcium carbonate teeth with a tongue inside, and this structure is known as Aristotle's lantern. That's just because it kind of looks like Aristotle's creation. It's pretty much it. Um, but the sea urchins do cause a massive problem for the reef. This is because they love to eat the kelp. And in doing that, they destroy a lot of the vital functions in a reef and can cause a lot of reefs to come into decline. This can, in turn, deplete commercially important species such as lobsters and abalones. The best way that scientists have come up with is called eco-culinary activism meaning we need to start eating these bad boys i probably wouldn't eat it because it might be really salty i kind of think it'll be like a mussel super salty um but each to their own don't know till you try it the main predators of these guys are though lobsters I'll probably put pictures up like up around here somewhere or something but you got like your lobsters your sea otters wolf fish crabs etc 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 that's it final facts with zach hope you enjoyed carry on with more of the video i'm pretty sure you're gonna see like a diving part like it's not scuba diving but jumping off a platform you'll see soon uh, i didn't get much probably like two bits and it's horizontal so it's kind of disgusting you're gonna see black bars it's real short just stick with it it's kind of gross anyway hope you enjoyed there's gonna be more later on in the future I'll see you soon! Okay, so we're currently walking to this diving platform thing that John found yesterday. Um, when we were snorkeling, I had a look at it, I uh, checked it out, and I think John said it was about five, five meters high. Um, so that's pretty nice. I am determined to backflip off of this thing uh, so hopefully I do it and I don't wimp out uh, but yeah it's really nothing else to talk about maybe like the snorkel the snorkel was good um, we did see we saw this long sea urchin not sea urchin what the hell sea urchins are not long um, we saw this long uh, Sea cucumber, like a really long sea cucumber. You'll see it uh, in the video, but it was it was something special. I haven't seen one that long before. Um, we also saw a lot of um, butterfly fish, some banner fish, and a few Moorish idols. Uh, the banner fish and Moorish idols, like a lot of people do get confused because they are very similar, uh, but. The Moorish idols have a particular coloration just along like the nose along here uh, or the snout beak base thing uh, just along there so that's what gives it away and um, yeah we saw this butterfly fish that eats plankton i don't know if i got a video of it if i do i will tell you if not it's black with white stripes so that really narrows it down in the fish community 
Uh, but yeah, oh, this is where we snorkel, by the way. Just out here. Look at that. Beautiful. The water was gorgeous. Um, a little chilly, but you know, not too bad. Anyway, here we are. We're at the dive spot. Oh, look at all this rubbish. You could, like anyone who's like a rubbish freak would hate this. Look at that. All that rubbish. Yeah, here we are. This is the diving platform. So, here's what we're gonna do. We jump off of here and we dive into So yeah, hopefully I can backflip off the back. Backflip off of it. Alright. Backflips off, oh god. Yeah. Okay, climbing this with a camera was a bad idea. But, yeah. that's like a vertical climb. Anyway, this is where I just did the backflip off of. Right here. Just up here. So, like, uh, firstly, I was a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little terrified, but I did it. John took the footage, so I'll get it off of him. Uh, but we're gonna go eat, just dry it off, because I'm hungry, starving, famished, deteriorating. I need food. I got a lot of, dude, jumping, jumping off of there. I just, did I just say dude? Wow, okay. Jumping off of there and getting like a bunch of salt in your nose in these waters is so painful. But yeah, anyway, let's go eat. So I got to record this coming back from our uh, snorkel adventure in Villingilly. Uh, but we're back. We are here. Um, everything's packed and ready. Um, I guess I'll just end off here and then I'll record like traveling back I guess. Because uh, when we get into Singapore I remember in the first video I said I was going to take you guys to the butterfly atrium in the airport so that's going to be in a separate video so it'll be like today and then today and tomorrow type of thing you'll understand when you see it but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed the video today um i don't know how it's going to turn out but i hope you like it um please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one i'll catch you next time